Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. Today we are going to learn about directives in part 29. If you have missed out on the first 28 episodes, make sure that you go through them since there are a lot of breaking changes and new things in Angular 17 which I am covering end to end. Especially you don't want to miss signals and other important uh, changes that are there in Angular 17. Today we are going to talk about directives. Again there are a lot of changes in Angular 17 with respect to directives also. So it's important that you learn this entire series end to end. Let's first learn about what are directives. Directives in Angular are special markers on DOM elements that tells Angular to do something on those elements. They are used to extend the functionality of HTML elements by attaching custom behavior to them. Angular provides three types of directives. The first is component directive. The second is structural directive. The third is attribute directives. We can also create our own custom directives. Component directives are directives with a template. They are the most commonly used type of directive in Angular. So far if you see in the series we have created a lot of components and if you go through them each component starts with at the rate component and that's how you define a component directive. Structural directives change the structure of the DOM elements by adding or removing elements. Now remember this is where the key changes are. In Angular 17 they have introduced at the rate if, at the rate for and at the rate switch. Earlier we used to write asterisk ng if, asterisk ng for and asterisk ng switch. But going on forward Angular 17 onwards we will write at the rate if, at the rate for and at the rate switch. The third type of directive is attribute directive. Attribute directives change the appearance or behavior of an element, component or any other directive. These includes ng style, ng class, ng model. Directives can be used in Angular templates to manipulate the DOM. Angular allows us to create custom directives to encapsulate reusable behavior and apply to multiple elements in the application. Custom directives can be used to enhance the functionality of our application by encapsulating complex behavior into smaller reusable components. All right. So that's all I'll cover today about directives. Just a theoretical introduction to you because going forward in the next episode, I'll start with structural directives because we have already seen component and component directives as part of earlier episodes. If you have missed out, please make sure that you check that out. So join me in the next episode. We will learn about structural directives. Very, very important because there are a lot of breaking changes, new changes in Angular 17. Like X said, NGF, NG4, NG switch is gone. Now you can just write at the rate if, at the rate for, at the rate switch. So we'll, I'll cover with a lot of hands-on and use cases with that. So join me in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.